Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. Loggers get such a bad rap for the destruction that they leave behind after they're done harvesting. So today I'm going to break down a little bit what happens that causes such the mess to be left behind and the steps we take to prevent it as much as possible. When a tree is cut down in the woods, only so much of it can be utilized. And most often the parts that are nice and straight and large that come from the lower end of the tree are the most valuable and it becomes less valuable as you go up. So most often the top of the tree is left in the woods. What I mean by the top of the tree is kind of just where it branches out and becomes not the straight beam that is the most valuable part. So that oftentimes is left behind and think about how many trees are cut down all the tops are just left behind and while the deer do like it and while it can make a good feeding ground for wildlife it doesn't look the prettiest and that's still wood that kind of is a shame to leave behind because in a way it could still be utilized as firewood through much trial and error we have come up with a system that allows us to utilize the tops of the trees in our business, but there are lots of reasons why this wouldn't work with a normal setup. For one, every single piece of the top wood is all bent and not straight, so it's really, really hard to haul. You can't really haul it on a log truck because, as my mom likes to say, it's like paying to haul air. That's why today I'm here at the boss's log site with a dump trailer and he's loading the dump trailer with these gnarly pieces so that we can haul them back to the log yard. Another reason why it would be challenging to utilize these pieces as firewood is because you can't run it through certain firewood processors. For one, the Bell's firewood processor won't work to process any of this material because the pieces that go onto it have to be straight and this just simply won't work. This means extra work on our end. We have to use a chainsaw to cut every single piece down to a firewood length, 16 inches is our standard size. And then it needs processed on the Timberwolf, which, which is a firewood splitter, not processor. The goal of our business is to utilize every single part of the tree. This is just another aspect of our zero waste policy. Anyways, let's go and see the progress that the boss has made. Now it's time to bring this load of firewood back to the log yard. Let's go.
And we're back at the log yard, so I'm just going to dump it here behind the firewood processor and go back and get another load. That's it for today's video, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. It's not gonna hurt you, I promise. Just push the subscribe button, all right? Thank you, have a nice day, and I'll see you back here next time.